Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-March general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and hope that you all are doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Seasons Changed by Expose. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. I don't know if I said that group name's right, the group's name right, but um, that's what I'm picking up, okay? Now, some of the members of the group, one is a Scorpio, the other is a Gemini, and then Libra, and then I also just now heard Pisces, okay? So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placement. Also, I heard Pisces, and we are in Pisces season, so I feel like in this season, again, with the name of the song, Seasons Change, in this season, something is changing in your love life, um... You know how they say everything happens for a reason or a season? I feel like a specific person in your love life was there for just a specific season. They were meant to teach you something. You were meant to teach them something. But I do feel like something is wrapping up. I don't feel sorrow associated with it. I feel like you know that it's time for something to wrap up. I know that, you know, you're sensing like, okay, it's time for this, this situation. And I'm hearing complicated now. Like this may have been complicated from the very beginning. Like however you guys met, it was some complicated situation attached to the connection anyway. You're like, okay, this season is over. This time is over. Um, it's time for this to be done. I feel like something's wrapping up. That's why I'm really getting that very strongly here. Again, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting those could be the sun signs or someone's rising sign. I'm getting specifically rising sign. I'm also hearing that somebody could have a Gemini Venus placement, okay? So let's see. Um, I also heard Lisa and Linda. Lisa and Linda. <laughs> And I just heard, listen, Linda, you know, a little boy who kept saying, listen, Linda, Linda, listen. So somebody is not wanting to hear someone out or someone is always just wanting to explain that side of the story. And you're like, okay, enough of this because this is a repetitive cycle with you. And this, this cycle is over. I'm getting it also. Okay. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have a six of swords. Yeah, season change. You guys are going in a different direction. This is your energy. You know, you could have been dealing with this person for six months to six years. And you're just kind of like, this is done. It's time for something to wrap up. Okay. So we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana. Yep. I said seasons change. I mentioned Pisces. You got major arcana to the moon. Pisces. Yep. Something is wrapping up in the season. Something is ending. Five of swords, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. And five in numerology does talk about changes happening. And then again, the name of the song is Seasons Change. Like something's wrapping up here. He may have found something out that helped um, in the situation. It could have just felt like a very heavy situation to begin with. Could be involved in a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. You did have no, no fire sign in those um, artists that I picked up. But you know, something could just be wrapping up overall. You know, if fire also, it doesn't have to be a fire sign person. It could just be action because fire talks about action also putting action into a situation so let's see what we get for you guys today for aquarius sun rising venus we're going to get your major arcana which is the star the card that comes before and the card that comes after and we'll clarify them you give me these fives <laughs> five of swords five of wands yeah something's done okay because five plus five is ten you had the five of swords now you got the five of wands Five plus five is ten. Ten talks about finality, something wrapping up again, something coming to the end of a cycle. Because it could have been a lot of drama. Then I say I picked up like complications from the beginning. There was complications here. More fire, 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 fire. Some of you guys are definitely a fire sign. I'm getting something about berries, raspberries. Okay, it's interesting. I'm hearing like somebody could be allergic to raspberries or finding out they're allergic to raspberries. It is so weird. I'm here. I'm seeing like a raspberry salad. Salad. You know how you get those salads and it's like those garden salads and they have like all these fruits and vegetables. Somebody find out they're allergic. Keep some Benadryl on you. If you know that you're sensitive or you've never had a certain thing before, tread lightly. Okay? Because I'm getting that. Like, <laughs> and it's not funny, but I'm saying tread lightly because something could happen where you could have some type of allergic reaction. And you could be fighting for your, your damn immune system. We trying to fight that shit off. I'm just hearing that also. Because I'm just looking at this here. It's making me think about berries. You see what I'm saying? Like... Okay, pomegranate also. Somebody could be allergic to that. Okay, so let's go through the deck and get your star card, which is your major. Okay, this is going to happen soon. Whatever the situation is, it's going to happen soon, which I'm going to say again, the season is wrapping up. This cycle is over here. Okay, 
So right in front of you, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Behind it, you got the Nine of Cups, King of Wands. So you got a King and a Queen here. Even though they're not the same element, that's a pair. So you can be married to this person, engage this person, or there could have been plans to be with this person long term. But I feel like for some of y'all, you may feel like this was false happiness. Because it kind of look. I always say it always looks like his smile is forced. But there you go, that rat, rat bastard. And I, I know this is in the attic, but it's giving me attic vibes. And when you think about an attic, it's like something, when people put stuff in the attic, they hide. It's done. You don't see it again. Somebody is hiding how they truly feel about something. Possibly staying in a situation for financial reasons. Could be done with a Taurus here. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And I did say Scorpio with the um one of the group members in, in there. Yeah, yeah, Scorpio, Libra, and Gemini. Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody is trying to stick it out and trying to act like they're happy, but they may feel lonely in a relationship already because he's there alone. You know, with somebody's trying to put up a facade, that's what I'm getting. And it could just be for money. Both people could be keeping it because they're both here alone. You get what I'm saying? Like putting up a facade because it just looks good on paper or it looks good on the outside. But yeah, somebody feels lonely. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. Absolutely. You got two nines here. Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Nine plus nine is 18. Of the 18, one plus eight is nine again. So you could be a life path number nine, personal year nine. And also nine is the number before 10. And 10, again, talks about finality. So nine is like right before something wraps up. So some of you guys are right in that, that gateway of something wrapping up. Someone's try, possibly trying to force something. And it's again, it's making me think about seasons change because if you think about it, you have earth, air, fire, water. You have two different elements, which means, you know, you guys are in two different places in your life, but may have possibly been trying to stick it out again for the sake of stability or if you're married. Hmm. But you got the nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. So it could be something wrapping up again. I know that may sound heavy, but some of you all knew this was coming. OK, and you were prepared for it or you're trying to prepare for it. You got the King of Pentacles. You got a pair. So somebody definitely is married or engaged or live with someone in this situation. Absolutely. Yeah, there's financial obligations here. Mm -hmm. So that's what kept someone, even though they weren't happy. That's what kept someone in a situation. Mm-hmm. Can't make this up. So yeah, you got the tower. Yeah, somebody knows it's time for a change. Something was built on a faulty foundation to begin with. Scorpio Aries energy and I did say one of the members of that group who sings that song is a Scorpio Yeah, something is wrapping up because it, it was like eh, Something wasn't built on a solid foundation to begin with it could have again. It could have been all about Monetary comforts and what you can gain from that connection here I feel like in, in Aries season Aries season does come up in the end of March and you have three of wands and this reading is for March Somebody could be thinking about their future and wanting to be happy, you know. Bottom of the deck, you got the Four of Pentacles. Again, Four of Pentacles upright is holding on for dear life. and reverse, it's release. Some of you guys could definitely be done with a Taurus. Or, you know, that could be a decision to leave a relationship or situation in Taurus season. Again, I know this may sound heavy, but I don't feel like it would be heavy. I feel like you both may know that it's time for something to wrap up. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles. And you know what? Let me look at the... Yeah. So the message that I got with that, everything happens according to divine plan. So this was something that you need to have this connection with this person for one reason or another. But it's like that whatever you were meant to learn or they you were meant to teach, it wrapped up. Yeah, something is wrapping up, okay? So you have the star card, wish fulfillment and healing. Something about this connection was meant to heal you or this person. This is your major arcana and it's in reverse. So, you know, it, it may be like a divorce, a separation. Also, you may have felt like this was your person, but it's just not. Also, you know, whatever this is, you may feel like the rug was pulled from up on up under your feet. But it's like when you sit back and look at it and weigh your pros and cons, you may feel like, okay, I was faking the funk anyway. Or I feel like this, this person was faking the funk. Again, I feel like somebody out there will feel like this is a negative message. I don't feel like it. I feel like if you feel like that, you may be in a little bit of denial about the situation. And that's no shade. I'm not saying it in a shady way. I feel like this could be like you were a bit in denial, especially on an emotional level, because you got water here. And in both of these cards, there's water. And this is an air sign. You know, Aquarius is an air sign, but you have water here, water here. You know, it's kind of giving me the vibe, like, you know, trying to suppress your emotions. 
because because of comfort, but then you realize because Pentacles definitely talks about your comfort with your your monetary life, but it's like on an emotional level because you got all this water here. On an emotional level, you haven't been happy for a while, or something that's making you unhappy. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. So the Eight of Cups is walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. He's walking through three of the Eight Cups. But in reverse, that's not walking away. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody isn't walking away because of monetary comforts. Uh-huh. Let's get a clarify for the Nine of Cups. Something with Nine for sure. Look at that. So you got the Wheel of Fortune. That's what I'm saying. Something with money and stability is keeping someone in a relationship. You have... um. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio again here with the Wheel of Fortune. Also Capricorn. I always get Capricorn because that devil there. And you know, there's four seasons. Or uh, what do you call it? Winter, spring, fall, summer, spring. You know, you guys get what I'm saying. But you got four. One, two, three, four. So there's four seasons, right? And it's like the seasons are changing because this is like a compass direction that changes your di direction, how you navigate. It's time for something to wrap up here. For some of you guys, you knew in Capricorn season or in your own time frame, like around your birthday, you realize like, okay, I can't keep sitting here faking it like I'm happy when I know deep down inside, I want to go in a different direction. That's why I said, you see how all of them have books. You were meant to learn something or teach something because books can teach you, give you some type of knowledge. You were meant to teach some a lesson or learn something, but it's like this cycle has wrapped up with this person, you know. I feel very karmic energy with this, especially with this devil here. It's giving me karmic vibes. And I want you also to notice that both of your clarifiers are major arcana. So this is definite energy. Upright reverse doesn't matter. This is definite energy. So something was meant to wrap up. Oh, shit. I just heard wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up now. Wrap it up because if you don't want to get pregnant, you're going to get pregnant. And then also... Remember in the beginning, we had that five of wands. You had those like little berries. I don't know why it's making me think about, ooh, okay. Not everybody, because this is just generalized, but it's making me think about like an STD. Because even with this devil and that snake, like, mm, wrap it up. That's all I'm going to say. Because you know, the snake, they also, when people could refer as, to the penis as a snake, I'm telling you, wrap it up. Because somebody may be out here entertaining multiple people. Because this is somebody who's gluttonous also. On a lower vibration, this is gluttony. Because it's only him alone with all his cups. So this could be someone entertaining multiple people. Overindulging in party drink. Just look, wrap it up. Like I said, lessons and, and things like that. Somebody may teach you a lesson that you cannot get away from. A lifelong lesson. I'm just going to put that out there like that. Again, it's a general one. It won't apply to everyone. I don't wish that for any of you all. But I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. Yeah. I feel like some some season is wrapping up and they're telling you to pay attention to that. Don't don't make yourself vulnerable. Because if you look in both of these cards, they're both new. Nudity talks about vulnerability, and that's your major arcana. So don't don't allow yourself to be vulnerable to somebody's deception. Again, that devil and a snake, both of those are associated with deception. You know, I'm getting messages with this is like to tune into your intuition, trust your gut feeling about something. And that's the lesson that you were meant to learn. Because if you notice right here, that sword is up. Sword up is just sword down. There's no, they're saying, finally tune your intuition. I always see with those swords, it makes me think about antennas. Like, have your antennas up so you could be perceptive about people's intentions. I feel like this, whatever the situation is with this person or somebody that you recently wrapped things up with, they're saying learn lessons from this past person and be perceptive. Don't be paranoid, but be perceptive. Learn to pay attention to the signs ahead of time so that you can protect yourself. Again, I'm not just talking about the STD thing for everybody, but I am getting that. <laughs> yeah, pesky. Because I'm looking at that rat. It's making me think about some pesky, a pesky situation. But overall, I'm also getting like people being comfortable in the situation, acting as if they're happy when they're not. Because I want to tell you, look at her face. She don't look very happy about something. She's not smiling. She's just kind of like, okay, I'm comfortable here. You know, because that Taurus energy does talk about comforts in life, monetary comforts. But it's time for the season, you know, it's time for something to wrap up. Again, those are the four seasons here. You get what I'm saying? Somebody also could be traveling and staying in a four seasons hotel as well. If there's some travel here, I'm getting as well. Okay. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.